Hey, Genki Call here, and it's time to open up some vaults. Uh, as you can see, I have a pet rescue running, but that's okay. I just finished that, and I've got the gnome vault right here. Now, something that's a little annoying, you can't see how many vault keys you actually have, so I'm going to go into my inventory and see how many I'm going to burn through. I don't want to use them all. I want to save a few. Okay, it's right here at the top. Wow! Wow! I have 70 vault keys! Holy cow, I guess I've been hoarding them for a while. Okay, well, we're gonna use some. I'm not gonna worry about how many. I'll just go until I decide to stop, I suppose. So I always like to do this on hard. If you don't have a team that can beat the gnomes before the red ones can run away, I recommend waiting um, until you can do the hard levels. Um, because you'll get better rewards. So if you don't, if you're worried about them running away just wait till you get some better troops so let me go in here that is not the team I want to use although it's a good team um, I am going to use my mother of darkness team because where is it I know it's here somewhere there it is all right and I will put a link to this team or rather uh, the team code for this in the description box below let me just grab that code so I don't forget there we go all right, so what's great about this specific team is that it creates so much blue and purple that it's kind of taking away all of the red on the screen. So anything that you can do to keep red away from these treasure gnomes is going to be helpful for you um, because having them run away really sucks. So I don't care if Cedric casts on me. I'm not concerned about that. Um, but any team that you can use that creates lots of any color besides red is going to be helpful. And so Queen Bee or King Gobtruffle or both or anything that loops a lot is going to be helpful in this uh, for these battles. Just got to power up my spider here and then watch the looping begin. It's begun. All right, now I can't cast on Cedric because he is stealthy, but I am not concerned about that. This team came from Tacit originally. Um, so props to him for coming up with it because it is very, very effective and it works great in um, PvP as well. As long as, um, as long as the other team doesn't get the upper hand somehow, or you just, you know, things don't always work out the way you want them to, but I would rather do this. Okay, I want to get my queen all leveled up here. Do that. And then I'll do this. Bye-bye, Cedric. Alright, so, it's come up. Here, look, this is how you get Cedric's Sparkle Shack for your um, your gold farming teams. Um, I obviously have gotten quite a few of them because I've got him to level 20, but, um, you know, all, all in all, this is okay. Um, not great. I'm really hoping so for some um, orbs. Get rid of that red. Oh my goodness, yes, no red for you. Um, I really want to get some orbs. I'm really hoping to get Zul'goth here pretty soon. I just got my seventh power orb last night. Well, I crafted it. I didn't get it. I crafted it. <laughs> but it would be great to... What did I just do? I did not even mean to do that. See, I've got to pay more attention to what I'm doing. I really need to get my spider going here. There we go. Okay. I distracted myself so much I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, so um, you can get major orbs of ascension from just a hard, um, a hard vault battle. It doesn't have to be an epic vault battle. And also, um, those major orbs of chaos can turn into power orbs now. I've seen it happen on somebody else's stream. Wow, those are bad rewards. Um, I've seen it happen. 
But, um, of course, nobody I personally know uh, has had it happen. Alright, Cedric is all ready to go, and I don't care. Get these guys going here. I love rope dart. I hate fighting rope dart, but boy, it's it's handy to have. Okay, he doesn't have any mana up there, so I'm not worried about him. And you know, something that worried me um, about this. So the mother of darkness. Um, does true damage to an enemy and the enemy below them. Now, normally that would mean if there was a space here, they wouldn't get damaged. But then I realized it's still damaging them even though they're not right next to each other because it's not splash damage. And that is the distinction that matters. It's not splash damage, so it will get them even with the space between the two troops. something good here. Give me something good. Yes. Cedric's ready to go. With any luck, he won't ever get a chance to cast on me. Although I'm not too terribly worried about it. Why'd I do that? Oh well. That's fine. Huh, he didn't cast. Wow, weird. That's okay with me. AI isn't always perfect. Wow. Oh, c three Celestials. That is helpful. Diamonds, only two, four. Technically four. Still, still not doing great on that, but I am happy to have the Celestials, as I have been using them. I need some purple or green. Well, sometimes the board just does not cooperate. There we go. Oh, he's got some mana. I'm not worried about it yet. Pull somebody in front of him, that will help. Not that he's ever going to get a chance to cast. <laughs> Go ahead and do this. Oh, there goes my team. Getting all jumbled up. Oh, he summoned, summoned, he summoned the bomb bot. And let's do this. Take out Cedric now. Whoop, whoop. Huh. That's much better than that. Uh, this just isn't going the way I want it to. Hopefully, my luck will turn here. So let me let me tell you a little bit more about this team. So the reason this works so well is we've got the spider, I mean you've seen it in action, it's um, boosted by rogue allies, so everything you see here is a rogue, including my hero, because I am using Corsair class. Uh, and then this guy is very cool. If, they're, um, if they are submerged, even if they're barriered, you do an insta-kill. Even if he has zero magic and can do zero damage, that he will insta-kill them if they are uh, submerged. Not so good for you if you're fighting them, of course. Let me see. I don't want to do that. 
I would rather do that and get the, those both. Just gonna take out these ones that can run away and not worry about Cedric for a little while. Okay, now we'll worry about Cedric. There. And we'll just take him out. Give me something good. Come on! Something interesting. Another Cedric. If I needed Cedric, that would be awesome. I had to do so many of these vaults just to get a second Cedric and here I've gotten two just in these last few minutes that I've been playing. Woohoo! Get rid of that red. I'll switch to another team just to um, so it won't be boring watching me do this. Oh, whoops. Huh, whoops. I don't know why I bothered doing that when I could loot, but. And. You know, sometimes you just don't make good decisions. Oh. Um. Oh yeah, I always forget about this guy. <laughs> nice. Twelve gems, seventy-two thousand gold. Eh. Let me see. Let's try another team. How about? Definitely not a team with Sunspear. Not a good idea. Okay, let's see. What is this? Oh, that's that. That's a High King Iron Gut team, which I'm sure would work with be slow. So, let me just edit this team. Ah, I can grab the code again. So, I'm going to do this. So, for people that don't have the Arachnian Weaver or Essence of Evil or Life and Death, which is what I usually use with this, Everyone should have the Mountain Crusher. <coughs> if you're so low level that you don't have the Mountain Crusher yet, just keep putting, um, getting your Gem Mastery in Brown up and you will get it by increasing your Brown Gem Mastery. And then I'll put Gop Truffle in here. So this is the team that got me doing level 10 Explorers when I was so low level I should not have been able to, I should not have been able to do it. Um, I am going to stick with Shaman, um, simply because, why am I sticking with Shaman? Because I already have Orb Weaver and Archer filled up. The way this works, Leprechaun blows, blows things off. I've got Leaf Storm, Leaf Storm all drops a bunch of green to, ugh, look at all that red. Dro uh, oh, should drop a bunch of green, sometimes it will um, fill up the board. Um, give me a match four so that I can just start leaping. And uh, uh, yes, and I was hoping he would take those skulls. I'm sorry, yes, the skulls, that is what I meant. Uh, this. And that. This would be more efficient with two queen bees than with queen bee and a gob truffle, but the nice thing about gob truffle- ah! Major orb of chaos! Oh, fingers crossed. Anything but a green one. No major orbs of growth, please. Oh, come on, give me something good! <laughs> hey! We've got a new mythic coming up this next Friday, I believe, so that is going to be very helpful. I will take it. Uh, anyway, if you decide to use this team, I will post the team code below. Um, if you decide to use this team, then I would recommend e either using uh, Archer or Orb Weaver instead of Shaman. Um, Archer is one of my favorites. 
and uh, Orb Weaver is also a favorite. They're both good. You can't go wrong with either team. I'm rather class. Um, they're just super helpful, both of them. Yeah, this may be faster than Mother of Darkness now that I'm using it. Do, do, ooh, 60 diamonds. I'll take that. Okay, let's do another one now that I'm getting some better rewards. Oh, I love the Mountain Crusher. So useful. I forgot to change the banner. I'll change the banner before I grab the team code for you. Oops. Uh, yep, let's do one more. Orb of Wisdom. Okay, so... Green and purple. Yep, let's definitely change that. So, what I like to use with this team is... Green and blue and minus brown. So... Why would I use minus brown when I'm using brown? It's because Queen Bee and King Gobtruffle create so much brown, you're not going to be getting hurt by that. It, I filled up really quickly. All right, this is the last one I'm going to do, hoping for something good. And I'm just gonna save the rest of my keys, or maybe I'll do another video a little bit later. Another Orb of Chaos, give me a good one. Oh shoot, I clicked the wrong button. Okay, I guess I'm doing one more. Another Orb of Wisdom. This is the last one. I don't know how many we've done, but uh, this, this should be enough for now. That's better. Oops. Oops. Oh no, we don't want to do that. Okay, so this is why he's got some mana here. This is why I like the Mother of Darkness team. This one is a little faster, but he's got some mana and we do not want that. Oh, I hate it when they dodge. Uh don't want to blow this off because I want the blue and green or the green to come down here to her. Oh, let's do that. Blow things up. There we go. That should do it. Good. And I'll just do this instead of gob truffle because he can't finish them off, but Queen Bee can, so. <laughs> Okay, 24 gem keys, I like that. All right, well that is the end of this video. I will use some more vault keys at another time. I hope that you enjoyed this. Y'all have a good day, stay cool out there, and we will see you next time, bye-bye.